Hi guys, welcome to Linux Star YouTube channel. My name is Ramisha and I am your online instructor. So what's in this video? In this video I will tell you how to migrate logical volume from one machine to another machine in RHEL 8. So guys, let's begin the topic. But before we start the LVM migration, firstly we have to create the LVM setup first. So for the demonstration purpose, I have a lab scenario for you. Please look at that. Guys, this is my VirtualBox dashboard and here you can see I have a two tested virtual machine. First one is a Linux server, this one. Uh, which is the server1.example.com and other machine is a client machine this one which is the station1.example.com so what I'm going to demonstrate to you I create LVM partition on server side in this machine and then migrate it from the client side okay so for creation the logical volume in the server machine I have to attach a new raw text so for attach new text uh, what I'm going to do uh, I'm select my server machine and go to the setting this one and uh, here I'm going to change the location of my new hard drive images. So I select on the storage, select the SATA hard drive, click on add disk, go to the create new disk and uh, go to the hard disk file that is default is VDI virtual disk, virtual box disk image. Select next, go with the dynamically allocated size and now here I am going to change the location of my new hard disk image okay so I click on the folder icon and go to the D drive select the hard disk folder and assign the file name so I am assigning the file name is uh, say new virtual disk 20 okay could be anything it's not an issue save and uh, the file size 8 GB is sufficient for me okay so I click on the create and okay now uh, just uh, I'm going to power on this machine so click on the start button it takes some time to boot up so we have to wait a couple of minutes and let's see the process Yeah, it's going to be started. So currently I'm using Red Hat Enterprise Linux 8. Just I'm going to close these option, extra options. And here started the boot process. So I'm not going to pause this video because I want to just show you how to it boots up from power off to power on condition. So that's why I take approximately one to two minutes. Okay, uh, yeah, here it is. Now it's in a condition. So I log in with root user and first of all, I will show you the host name and OS release version of this machine. So I log in with root and give the password, whatever the password I have. I'm not sure with all of you. Okay, so first of all, I show you the host name and the OS release version. So for this, I run the command host name CTL. So once I press enter, look at that. This is server1.example.com and the machine name is computer server1.example.com and and the OS version is RHEL 8.0. Okay. 
सो टू चेक द अटैच न्यू हार्ड डिस्क इन्फॉर्मेशन आई गो विद एल एस बी एल के कमांड सो आई रन द एल एस बी एल के लिस्ट ब्लॉक डिवाइस सो इट शोज मी दैट न्यू हार्ड डिस्क नेम्ड एज एस डी बी विद एट जी बी अवेलेबल फॉर एस लुक एट दैट दैट इज इज एस डी बी ओके सो नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू क्रिएट अ न्यू लॉजिकल वॉल्यूम ऑन दिस एस डी बी डिस्क आफ्टर दैट आई असाइन द फाइल सिस्टम टू दिस लॉजिकल वॉल्यूम एंड देन ट्राई टू राइट सम डेटा ऑन दिस एलवीएम पार्टीशन सो फॉर क्रिएट पार्टीशन ऑन दिस एस डी बी डिस्क आई गो विद एफ डिक्स कमांड सो आई एम यूजिंग एफ डिक्स यूटिलिटी यू हैव द चॉइस यू कैन गो विद पार्टेड कमांड ऑल्सो सो आई सेलेक्ट एफ डिक्स देव एस डी बी सो दैट इज माई न्यूली हार्ड डिक्स एस डी बी आई प्रेस इंटर सो एन फॉर न्यू पार्टीशन पी फॉर प्राइमरी पार्टीशन partition number go with the default that is 1 first sector size assign the size so i go with the default one last sector i go with the again default one so i press enter and you can see that the size of 8 gb is set to this partition okay now change the type of this partition so for this i use small t t for change the type so i go with the default partition that is 1 and uh, type 8e So 8e means Linux Elvium partition. So once I press enter, it gives me message change change type of partition Linux to Linux Elvium. Okay. Now we can press P to show the printout of this layout. So look at that, everything is look good. And here we have the SDB one partition, approx 8 GB in size, and type is Linux Elvium. So this time now time to save and quit from here. So for this I press W for write the changes and quit from there. Great. Okay. Now we have to run the part probe command. So I have to run the option part probe dev sdb. Okay. So this is used to so that kernel can read these changes. Okay. So what we have done? We have just create eight GB partition on newly added disk. This is uh, that is dev sdb, and we can verify. again with the lsblk command so if i go with lsblk command look at that sdb uh, have sdb one partition approx 8 gb in size okay so now what i'm going to do with this partition i make a physical volume then i create a volume group for, and from volume group i create a new logical volume with the desired space so i started with parted command which create physical volume so i started with pv create dev sdb1 okay physical volume created successfully now make a volume group using this physical volume so for this i use vg create command vg create volume group create and assign the volume group name could be anything in my case i'm using vg1 dev sdb1 so volume group created successfully to check the status of physical volume and the volume group i can run two different command first one is pvs pvs means physical volume status okay once i press enter it shows me that the physical volume name that is dev sdb1 with attach volume group that is vg1 okay in a similar way we can run vgs command vgs means volume group status command to check the volume group status once i press enter it give me shows me the message the volume group name that is vg1 and currently it has no logical volume assigned with this group and available group size is 8 gb you can see that lv is equal to 0 okay so for creation the logical volume from this volume group that is vg1 i use a command lv create command so i go with lv create capital l assign the size uh, 500 mb is sufficient for me and small n that is assign a logical volume name could be anything but in my case i am using lv1 and assign the volume group name that is vg1 so once i press enter it give me a message uh, logical volume lv1 created successfully okay so we can verify the logical volume status from lvs command now i run the command lvs that is logical volume status and uh, it shows me that i have successfully created logical volume that is lv1 with the size of 500 mb okay now we have to move our next step which is assigning the file system to this logical volume and mount it so for assigning the file system i go with mkfs command so i run the command mkfs dot xfs because currently i am using rail 8 so i am using xfs file system otherwise you can go with ext3 or ext4 also and give the file system complete part dev mapper vg1 lv1 that is volume group and the logical volume once i press enter it's formed successfully okay now I'll clear the screen and move to the next step which is i make a mount point for the mounting purpose so i just make a directory mkdir/data 
could be anything and now finally mounted my logical volume partition on this mount point so i have the command mount command mount dev mapper vg1 lv1 slash data okay now finally i have mounted and uh, uh, we can verify the details of uh, using df capital th command slash data so this command showing that my logical volume is mounted on slash data part on slash data mount point with xfs file system and it's a proc six percent used okay now in the next step uh, what we have to do we have to move the slash data directory and create some files so i move to the data directory and try to create some blank file say test one dot dot ten dot txt so once i press enter it create test one to test ten blank file and a part of that i make a one file with data also so i go with file one and i type some matter i said i love linux okay and save and quit from there and verify using cat command one more time cat file one so here here it is we have some blank files and we have some data files also so in this way i have created few data files here now we move to the final points come which is uh, how we can migrate this logical volume data from this system to the another system so for that what we need to do firstly we have to unmount this logical volume so i run the command i i quit from there i run the cd command change the current directory and move to the current location and first of all i run the command unmount dash slash data firstly we have to unmount okay and in the next step i have to inactive this volume group so currently if i run the lvs command look at that lvs currently you can find out uh, you can see the logical volume is active mode so for make this volume inactive i run the command lv change hyphen an and the volume group name that is vg1 now again if i run the lvs command look at that earlier in the attribute field we have wi hyphen a but now it's only wi so you can see now uh, yeah, that is now in active mode there is no a present in the attribute field so now in the next step I am going to export this volume group using vg export command so the command is vg export and the volume group name that is vg1 so you can see we have successfully exported it after this nothing we have to do with this logical partition everything we have done successfully now I am going to power off it off so I run the command power off so that I can attach this hard disk that is dev db to my new machine which is a client machine okay so now move to the next machine which is client machine where I'm going to import this logical volume now again we have to follow the previous method through which we attach new hard disk drive but remember this time we have to select the choose existing hard drive not to add new hard drive okay so again select the client VM go to the setting go to the storage SATA hard drive select the hard drive this time I'm using choosing existing disk okay and this is new virtual 20.vdi remember we have created this so select this one okay and again power on so again it may take some time to boot up so just wait for a couple of minutes so I'm not again going to pause this session I want to show you the boot up process so just wait for a moment again I'm to, going to close this option this is also Red Hat Linux 8.0 it has started to boots up it take few minutes approx 1 to 2 minutes so just wait let's verify everything is okay 
there is no kind of error in the, during the boot up process so that's why I didn't pause or stop it okay now it's in up condition so again I log in with root user so I give the username root and assign the password one more time okay firstly I will show you the machine name and the OS release version so again I run the command host name CTR so look at that the uh, static host name station one dot example dot com and currently running OS is Red Hat Enterprise Linux 8.0 okay now I run the command lsblk again I run the command lsblk to list the available block device so it shows me that I have additional disks of 8 GB so let's check the LVM partition first so for this I run if I run the command pvs physical volume status it shows me that slash dev sdb1 is attached with volume group vg1 and its attribute field here ax if you observe ax attribute field in ax is represented it's currently it's it is inactive so firstly we need to active this LVM partition so that we can access our data even if I run the vgs command volume group status if we go with the VGS command, it showed me that I have one logical volume attached with VG volume uh, group. But if I run the LVS command, look at that logical volume status, it will not show any logical partition present in VG1 volume group. So for that, I am going to active this partition. So first of all, I have to run the PV scan command for scan the partition. So I run the command PV scan. Once I press enter, so you can see. Uh, VG1 volume group is available in dev sdb1 okay and after that I run VG import for importing the volume group so VG import command to import this volume group so I run the VG import and the volume group name that is VG1 okay volume group VG1 is imported successfully now if I run the LVS command let's see what happened if I type LVS look at that I got it so it shows the details of logical volume that is LV1 but it is still inactive you can uh, check the attribute field there is no a or a uh, options available in the attribute field so to make it active again i run the command lv change lv change hyphen a y and the volume group name that is vg1 so now if i run the lvs command look at that i run the again the command lvs command i can see my lvm partition is now active and i can use it and uh, uh, look at the attribute field that is wi hyphen a okay so now just make a simple mount point and uh, mount it one more time and access the data so i just make a mount uh, mount point that is slash yahoo could be anything and simply run the command mount dev as dev uh, mapper vg1 lv1 slash yahoo okay now move to the yahoo location and if i run the ls command look at that you can see the data is still present in my logical volume and i can access it even if i open the file cat 51 i got my data that is i love or linux okay guys so guys this is how we can create and migrate our lvm partition from one machine to the another machine finally this is the end of this topic and hopefully you enjoyed and learn new things soon i will come up with another new interesting topic till then keep practicing if you think if you feel something i have missed or you wanted to know more something else please leave your comment and subscribe my youtube channel for more updates and uh, if you like this video please do not forget to like share and subscribe my channel and press the bell icon button for the latest update thanks for watching stay safe and goodbye